Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install trains for Minecraft using the Immersive Rail Rolling mod. I hope you enjoy, and if you do, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Now let's go on to the video. Before we begin, you will need a couple things first. So one of those things is a legit copy of Minecraft of course and the second one is also java you will need java in order to run mods and install forge i will link everything you need in the description so you can find it all there once you are on the java page you can click on agree and start free download and this will download this setup file just click on it to open and click yes this is going to show this installer thing. I am not going to install it because I have already installed the latest version of Java. So now onto the Forge download. For the Immersive Railroading mod, you will need the 1.16.5 Forge, which you can find right here with all these versions. Choose 1.16.5, and I recommend to download either the recommended. Uh, installer or if you are uh, if you like you can also download the latest version recommended version is the most stable version I'm going to go with the latest version this will bring you to this page which usually has an app but I recommend using ad blockers then you click skip and this will start downloading this .jar file now what's the .jar file? A .jar file is a java file, that's why you need java. And with that you can install the forge. Before installing forge, make sure your launcher is closed to prevent any problems. Once the .jar file is downloaded, you just have to click on it. Um, some of you might have to use show in folder and then right click it and use open with java. But once you have installed Java, it should automatically detect .jar files as Java files. So just go ahead and open it. This will open this little window. Just choose install client. This should automatically be correct unless you are using something like a multi MC. Then click OK. This will install Forge. There you go. Successfully installed client profile Forge for version 1.16.5. And now you can go and open your Minecraft launcher. And you should be able to launch the Forge from there. Now before launching the Forge version, we are going to download the mods required. So now we are going to download the mods. You can find the mods also in the description with all the other things. First off we are going to download Immersive Railroading. Click on files, so you can go to all the files. And I recommend downloading the latest file. Wait until the download has begun and then head over to the next mod which is also required in order to run immersive railroading also head over to the files on there and download the latest version then head over to the universal mod core mod now you will also need this one in order to run the immersive railroading mod so go ahead and download the latest one that is for 1.16.5 as well. And that's it for the mods. Now I also will be using a resource pack which adds a lot of voxel trains. So we'll go ahead and download that as well. This is called the voxel trains IR. IR standing for immersive railroading. So also you can go over to the files and download the latest one as well. 
I also recommend using Optifine. If you head over to, to Optifine.net and head over to the downloads page, you get to this page. You can then click on show all versions and go ahead and download 1.16.5. There you go. I'm also using complementary shaders, but that is not necessary. However, I am still going to show you how to get these sh shaders for 1.16.5. So you can see right here all the versions. Get the latest one that is for 1.16.5. So as you can see, all of these still support 1.16.5, which you can see once you hover over these. Same thing for these, so it means even the latest one supports 1.16.5. So I'm going to download that as well. And then we have downloaded everything we need. So what we are going to do now is open up Explorer. And then you enter percent app data percent. Now you will most likely only have one dot Minecraft instance. I have a couple because uh, I have made some custom installs. Now go into the mods folder. If you do not have this one, most likely you have never installed any mods. So I will show you how to make one. You just right click and choose new folder and just call it mods. Just mods without any capitals. There you go. Head into it. And now you will be able to install your mods in this folder. So head over to your downloads folder. Select all the mods using control and clicking or shift and clicking. Copy these over. Either by pressing Ctrl C or right clicking and clicking copy and doing the same thing by right clicking and pasting or Ctrl V in the mods folder. There you go. Now all the mods are in the mods folder. We'll also be copying the Optifine installer jar into the mods folder because that way it will also be used in Forge. Now we also have the Voxel Trains texture pack or research pack, which we will be able we will need to copy over to the resource packs folder. So go ahead and do that as well. And the same thing goes for the shaders, which you don't need, but you can use. There will be a folder called, called shader packs if you have used Optifine before. If not, you will have to make that the same way you made the mods folder by I, by right clicking new and then folder and calling it shader packs without any capitals or space. Head into it and put the shaders in there. Now we're all set up and we can launch our Forge 1.16.5. Now it's going to bring this up the first time you try and launch it. Just press I understand the risks, don't warn me again about this installation. And press play. Now your forge will start. And you will be able to play with the trains. There we go, now we are into the game. We can create a new world. Let's set it to creative. And let's also make it a super flat world. That way we don't have to deal with mountains. There we go. So now we are loaded in. Before we do anything we will have to enable the resource pack to get the voxel trains. So head over to the settings and do that. Now it might prompt you with this, just press yes. Wait for a bit until it has loaded in. Sometimes this might take a while depending on how good your system is. There 
And now we are loaded in. If we open our inventory, we see that we have two tabs. One is the default, we are in that right now. And if we head over to the second tab, we can see the immersive railroading tabs. Now I'm going to quickly go over the basis of the immersive railroading mod. So right here you can have a track blueprint, which you use to lay down tracks. I'm also going to qu quickly grab the coupling hook and also a couple of trains, namely just a locomotive and a couple of carriages. There we go. So to start placing a track, you can either just start off placing this straight piece or click in the air and get this menu where you can change the style from default to concrete ties to all kinds of rails. Now I'm going to go with this voxel concrete track because it's from the voxel trains and it is concrete which is a little bit more modern. I'm also going to change the length of the track which you can do right here. Let's say to about 50. Here we go and now we can just press escape and we have our track which we can lay down and there you go that's your first piece of track now let's place a couple more and let's also copy this blueprint and right click in the air and change the type to a turn now I'm going to make this turn a little bit longer to make it a bit more realistic. So let's say 100, press enter or escape to exit. And there you go, you can see that the turn aligns with the direction you look. So depending on where you look at, it will go to. So let's place it right like this. Let's make this a simple loop. So press. So place another one. Make it go like this. There we go. And then, as you can see, the village pass blocks are giving us these red sort of thingies which means we cannot build on those. So to fix that, I'm just going to grab grass and replace this part of the pot with some grass. Now these slimes are really annoying me, so I'm going to turn those off. There we go. That should have taken care of everything. And let's now place down the last couple pieces of track. And this should meet up again. So there we go. Now we have a little loop. So now let's place down the locomotive. So how you do this is just hold the locomotive, look at the track and then right click on the track. There we go. This will have spawned the locomotive. Now this one is a bit bugged, so I'm going to shift click on it. And let's do that again. There we go. Then we can place a wagon. So there we go. Now that should have connected automatically. Let's place one or two more down. And there we go. Now, before you can start driving, you will also need immersive engineering or you will have to change the config in order to drive the trains without any fuel. So Let's go ahead and see what the button is to change the config. The config is the slash button. I'm going to change that to a backslash. 
because open command is already slash for me. So now if I press backslash I can configure the whole mod. I'm just going to go into config balance and then here it says fuel required. I'm going to change that to false. That's all you will need to change if you do not want to use the immersive engineering mod. If you want to install the immersive engineering mod and use fuel, it's pretty much the exact same process as installing the immersive railroading mod. And I will also be leaving a download for that in the description as well. Now we can go ahead and right click on the train to get into the train. There we go. Kind of bugged the first time. Let's see. Now we can walk up to the front. So WASD is just normal walking. As you can see, you can also walk between carts. So you can walk between the front and the back. If I head over to the front, I can go ahead and sit in the driver's seat. Now using the keypad, you can change the brake and the throttle. So There we go. Now go into the inventory and search for something like ethanol. Ethanol is one of the many fuels you can use. So we're going to get into the locomotive. Click on it. Let's fill her up. Now again, if you use the infinite fuel or the locomotives do not need fuel, you won't have to do this. Press the plus on the keypad to start the engine. You can start giving trouble now. And uh, if you have configured it to not need fuel, you can drive already. Otherwise, you can start the trouble to make it heat up faster. So now we are driving our very first train and that was how to install and use the immersive railroading mod and together with that also the immersive engineering mod because you need it in order to power your trains without tinkering with the config. I hope you enjoyed, if you do leave a like, subscribe and hit the bell for more and I uh, hope to see you all in the next video. Goodbye.